<laughs> but you know, at least uh, we can we can start getting ready. It shouldn't be too long before the game's updated. Let me just get my headphones and shit ready. Where is my controller? Where the hell did it go? Where did it come from? Where did it go? Ugh. Where did it come from? Cotton Eye Joe. Let's see. All right. Hi. If you're here in the chat, hello. How are you? Uh, looks like Lawn Mowing Simulator is almost done uploading or updating, downloading. The update in. Hopefully we'll have a nice clean stream today. No uh, no problems, no audio problems, no weird glitchy nonsense. I know that's probably asking for too much, but we will see. Oh, God damn. I'm not going to play uh, in big picture. I know it exists, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Today I'm using, for the first time, um, the Streamlabs OBS. No, I do not want to restart the game. Get fucked. I've never used it before. I had some weird glitchy things that I had to figure out uh, but it, I mean it looks like we're uh, we're working I can see the stream on Twitch so that must mean something uh, lawn mowing simulator now says it is patching I don't know what they need to patch it's a perfect game <clears throat> I'm not feeling 100% uh, today, sort of, you know, emotionally, um, so I imagine today's discussion is going to get a little, um, I don't know, uncomfortable maybe. Who knows? We'll we'll find out. I had a, a fucking roller coaster of a day yesterday, and I think that that is just lingering still. It's really uh, sometimes it just sits in you, you know. It's still patching, if you're wondering. I spent a lot of the morning though yesterday trying to jazz up um, my stream, which is why I'm using Streamlabs OBS right now. Um, I don't know, maybe like the, the countdown and widgets and stuff, but I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe, I, I guess I just don't see the necessity in it. And so I even though I spent a couple hours like working on it and trying to get it to look good and fancy like all these other streams that I see everywhere I don't know it seemed kind of pointless uh, and you know that mentality has quite a lot to do with why I generally had a bad day yesterday and it has leaked over into today boy I wish this fucking game would be patched. I hope you're doing better though, uh, whoever's watching. I hope you're having a great day uh, and a great weekend. I'm just checking on it. Looks like it's 50% uh, patched. Good lord. I 
haven't played um, anything since the last stream, but especially Lawn Mowing Simulator. So we'll pick up right where we left off. I know that uh, the storyline has got you really by uh, by the hair, whichever whichever hair that saying works for. I uh, I deactivated my Facebook for about the ninetieth time today. Um, I'm cautious to delete it because uh, generally, you know, we rely on those things. Before the pandemic, I would often deactivate it for periods of time and then end up reactivating it because uh, I am a musician uh, and I need a connection to people to like, you know, to book shows or whatever. Um, and the world's kind of moving on from uh, COVID precautions and shows and uh, let me get this a little better. And shows and and touring and and all that is coming back. Or it is back, I guess. It's been back for a little while. People generally don't seem to give uh, a shit about any of this. Um, and while I've, I've been very cautious and um, very safe about this whole thing, I am really envious of those people who are throwing caution to the wind and uh, going on tour. I, man, I just, I really miss being in a van with my friends in some town somewhere, just playing my stupid little songs. I really, <laughs> I really, really miss it. But um, I'm playing with the, the knobs on my my um, audio box. And uh, I'm trying to see if it does shit. It doesn't seem to really have that much of a fucking difference on things. I don't know. As you can see, I keep starting sentences. And then... Um, Um, trailing off. <laughs> I understand that that one might have looked a little planned. I assure you, it wasn't. Um, yeah, it's just this fucking thing that's sitting in my chest right now. So yeah, so I've been thinking about um, deleting social media. Instagram, once you delete it, it's gone. You can download your information, but you can't just deactivate it for a little while. And Instagram is your photo album now, you know? I deleted my Instagram back in 2019. And then I started a new one a few months later. Um, I really wish I hadn't deleted that first one, just for like sake of record keeping. I downloaded all the information, all the photos and videos and whatnot, but um, I don't know. But uh, even to just delete it, you can't even do it from the app. You have to go onto the website um, and do it from there. If you can remember your fucking passwords. I have about seven passwords that all rotate around. And it seems like when I went to delete uh, one of my old like Instagram side project accounts today, none of those passwords worked. So 
Who fucking knows what it is? I guess I'm just stuck with it. I will say that the, for whatever reason, the Streamlabs OBS looks better camera-wise somehow. I don't know how that's possible, but it does. All right, we got, uh, according to Steam, less than 45 seconds until this fucking game is patched. Hell of a 15-minute stream so far, wouldn't you say? The risotto was good, if you're wondering. Let's see, look at this. Look at this. Right to social media. All right, looks like we are finally ready. To play the greatest game, this side of the Mississippi. To be honest, I, is it on the Mississippi? I don't even know. Let's just get her all cleaned up here, ready to move. All right, we are, I believe, ready to go. Oh, lawn mowing simulator, everybody. There's that music. We're going to turn it down just a smidge. And I think we're good. Shit. Back. All right. So here's our job. Uh, front garden. Old Nook Cottage. If you're in the chat, let me know how the audio is now that we've got some music going. The front garden at Old Nook Cottage requires a general cut. The lawn is surrounded by flower beds, so take care not to damage them. And don't leave grass clippings in the beds. All right, here we go. just a lawn what are we loading here every individual piece of grass I miss the days of um, of games with like multiple discs all right it's looking a little stuttery over there so let's uh Let's just play with our graphic options. Uh, let's see, yeah, we'll put it on windowed. We'll turn the motion blur off. This should be fine. 
No, that looks like shit on my end. That looks, I mean, okay. That looks slightly better. I mean, not for you guys. For me, it looks slightly better. Do a quick run about, see how it looks on stream. Okay, that looks better. So I'm just gonna pop on over to OBS and fix it up. There we go. How's that? You like that? There we go. Not everything looks super pretty uh, here, but it's something. Okay. Can I get in here? I assume I have to cut this, so. Maybe not. Maybe I just uh, run my fucking lawnmower through it. A small lawn. Can I win? No. All right, let's uh, let's grab the mower. Oh, we we have to do a grounds check. Okay, gotta pick up the stuff. I see. Interesting. I just wanted to cut grass. I didn't want to have fetch quests, but. That'll work. There's another guy. Yeah, one more. There we go. Oh, the, the lawn's a little bigger than I expected. Oh, look, we can go check out what's back here. I wonder if there's any hidden stuff in this game. You know, like, uh, I don't know, little nods to stuff. Can't jump, so I can't really climb over that fence, but. All right, hold X to start engine. Okay, so let's uh, let's your performance during cutting will affect how much money and reputation points you earn from the contract. You need to find the balance between speed and careful driving, avoiding damaging the flowers or lawn while cutting quickly to earn a time bonus. Honestly, like okay, here we go. Oh, we gotta turn the, there we go. Try to get nice and close to the flowers without ripping them all up. I think we're gonna have to go back over the edge once we get moving. Yeah, we'll see. Right through this fucking bush. I'll tell you, when I did mow lawns, there were plenty of times where I fucking ran my ugly face right into a bush. Actually, you know, that that brings me to a, something I kind of want to talk about. Um, I'm often told that I'm, uh, I'm just constantly negative. I've been told this my, my whole life by you know, romantic partners and friends and co-workers, everybody, that I'm constantly negative. And the thing is, like, I don't fucking feel like I'm constantly negative. And in fact, I, I often feel like I, I hold tons of stuff back because 
like I've been aware that people perceive me that way as being constantly negative and maybe it's like just a symptom of, of my depression or whatever but man I I guess I just don't have anything good to say, you know? So it's either silence or discuss the way I feel about things. And I know that, like, negativity just breeds negativity. But I also feel like if there's nothing to be fucking happy about, sh am I supposed to fake it, you know? Am I supposed to, like... I don't know. Am I supposed to be somebody else just for the sake of not making people uncomfortable? Because it feels like that. It feels like, in general, people aren't really, they don't want to know what I really think. This, I guess that's like, that's the curse of, that's a, that's our fucking curse in general. It's like, nobody really wants to know what you really think. And when it comes to like coworkers, obviously I don't give a shit, but when it comes to romantic partners or close friends, man, that fucking stings when you figure that out. That you you have to censor the things you talk about, and potentially even how you think about things, because it's your worldview, you know. For the record, if you were landscaping, you wouldn't be doing this close to the yard with a fucking huge tractor. You'd have a guy with a weed whacker over there or something. But anyway, um, I like for example, I'm I'm having a, and I'll be totally open. There's only one viewer here, and I doubt anybody goes back and rewatches these streams. Um, right now, I am having a particularly rough time with certain things and um, I don't mean it in any light way that I just no longer see the good in things this is not like a um, I'm not saying that as uh, like a boo-hoo sort of thing and how fucked up is it that I have to think about that You know, people should be able to talk freely about their trouble. I don't know. So anyway, I, I'm having a, a particularly rough time with a few things in my life right now. And one of the side effects of that is that I, I don't see the good in anything anymore. I'm not uh, suicidal, or an, I, I used to be, um, but I've, I've done a lot of introspective work to correct that or at least keep it under control uh, we're gonna take our our blades up and we're just gonna get these two little patches here um, but, you know, like, even though I'm not on the brink of some super destructive thing, I still need the space to be able to discuss things, you know? I still need to be able to know that someone is there and gives a shit. Or they don't even really have to give a shit, just let me... Just let me have that space, you know? I don't know. I 
I'm at a point in my life where I have to figure out what I want and I have to kind of figure out what that what future what a future means to me what what I hope to get out of my time and the thing is like the things I enjoy doing the things I would want to do I'm horrified that I'm going to die broke and alone um, I'll definitely die broke absolutely but I'm horrified of the idea of how broke I could be um, that like straight straight up poverty uh, I mean I I'm already poor I, I already have trouble uh, keeping up my own bills but uh, attempting to make some sort of satisfying life with the things that I love Jesus Christ it seems entirely fucking impossible it seems like any choice I have in my life the option is settle you know and I don't just mean like romantically. I, uh, the person I'm with now um, is a wonderful person, you know. But like, as far as jobs or where I spend my days, where I spend my life, everything is like settling. Everything is, well, these are your fucking options like in this game you get three tractors you know and that's not the best metaphor but like I don't feel like there's any real freedom I don't feel like there's any real choice in life anymore if there ever was honestly uh, we tend to glorify the past so it's quite possible that there just isn't uh, but I personally feel like fuck maybe it is getting worse maybe it actually is getting worse but see that's that's another example of me just being negative right and people just don't want to hear it like you're you're just alone there there was um, a few years ago I was in a far worse place um, and things got pretty dark and I had a number of people reach out and and attempt to correct that situation with me but after a while those people go away you know after a while people can't listen to it anymore And, like, it's not their job to fucking suffer for me, but, I don't know. When it comes to people with chronic mental health issues, the vast majority of our lives are spent alone. Even if we're surrounded by people, the vast majority of our lives are spent knowing that uh, we're annoying people, knowing that people don't understand us, knowing that people just get fucking bothered by us being negative all the time. And there's, I mean, again, I, I, it's not people's job to suffer for us, you know? It's not people's... I don't want anybody to feel bad on my behalf ever but I've lost a handful of friendships and I've fucked up a handful of relationships in large part because 
It can be a lot. I can be a lot. My um, my partner. Yesterday, we we began working on uh, a project together, a little cartoon, uh, which I'll talk about in a little bit. But um, we we don't regularly work on things together for a handful of reasons. Um, I generally like to work alone. I'm that may be a symptom of how I feel detached from everybody but generally I like to work on things alone I'm, I work quickly I don't like to waste time I like to get things done idea to finish product quickly so working with people I tend to be a little demanding a lot demanding I don't know how I've ever had a band be honest the those fucking saints of people that have been in bands with me but um, yesterday when we were discussing it my partner and I I said to her I said to her that uh, you know it it fucking sucks working with me I'm giving you a fair warning and she said to me not in a mean way but she said, well, it sucks being in a relationship with you, but here I am. Again, it wasn't said in a mean way, and she's not wrong. But, like, it's true. It's true. I'm a lot. I have, uh, I have a lot of issues that um, are are constant, and they're they're difficult. They're difficult to deal with, and it's not anybody else's. It's not anyone else's duty to make those things right. I know that. Um, my favorite comedian, um, Maria Bamford, had this great quote where I think it was in her show Lady Dynamite. It might have been one of her stand-ups. But she has this great quote where she says um, to a prospective partner, I don't need you to fix me. I just need a witness to my experience. And I think about that quote a lot. I, I agree. Uh, it's not anyone's responsibility to fix me at all. But I need the space to talk about things, to come to terms with things, to analyze things, to be in those moments and sort out those moments. I, I need to be able to do that. I don't need you to fix me, but I, I do just need a witness to my experience. I think about it a lot. I don't necessarily think of myself as a burden or anything you know I know that some folks do and I I, I feel for those folks I, I really really do man I wish the trees disappeared when you pass through them um, but I am often embarrassed to to be around to be around people it makes it very difficult to make new friends because generally uh, my I have this character that I play you know who's like he's friendly and he's boisterous and people like him or whatever and it's not me I, I don't think it's me but it's exhausting to try to be that person it's exhausting and then eventually if people are around you long enough they figure out that wasn't you at all you've been fucking lying to them the whole time you've been lying to yourself
so I mean what what is there to do right go to therapy get on medication work on yourself meditate all those things right I've done all those things I'm not currently doing any of them I'm not feeling particularly motivated but there's certain things therapy's not going to fix I'm not in love with the place I live right now and it's definitely taking a toll on me therapy's not going to fix that medications I've never really been a fan of at best and I've, I've been on a fucking good handful of fucking medications and at best I find that they numb me more than anything else they don't they don't fix the problem they just kind of make it seem like it's not there anymore but it's there it just sits and it waits and it waits and it waits meditation meditation's good it's fun it's easy um, I I like meditating I do but I find it very difficult to get myself to the point where ground damage shit uh, to get myself to sit down and do it you know it's so easy it's literally the easiest fucking thing but I think that there's a part of me that's like hey let's not do these good things let's not actually work on the problem and I don't know maybe that's true maybe it's not maybe I'm lazy but there is definitely a part of me that um, actively will avoid doing things that will make me feel better you know it's really bizarre to me um, it, it's it is almost like there's this there's someone else behind the wheel who actively doesn't want me to correct the problem and so it's like it's my job to 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 say fuck off no I have to fix this how do I do that though how do I how it takes so much energy to just get out of bed <laughs> and get dressed and go to work talk to people be a partner to my partner and like I want to I want to be good I want to be worthwhile to my partner you know obviously I want to be happy I want to be the person that people think I am when they meet me but it won't let me I I don't mean it lightly it won't let me I I feel stuck I feel trapped such a bummer such a bummer to the mood such a bummer to the people around me too negative
I don't know. I'm just having a rough day. And it, like, it pops up and it fucks me up, like, physiologically. <laughs> like, my whole body is sore today. I feel kind of foggy. My chest hurts. My eyes are dry. And that's the thing, too, is a lot of people don't realize that depression is very physical. <laughs> I mean, it, it, affects, it affects people in huge physical ways. People think that depression is just like being mopey or something. Get over it. It's not. It has had deep detrimental effects on uh, a number of aspects of my existence, and physiologically is certainly one of them. I don't know if there's a time limit on this lawn. And like, it's not a bizarre concept to imagine depression having physiological effects. It's proven, it's a real thing. Uh, my depression uh, coupled with anxiety, of course, because you've got to have the twofer, I do, uh, leads me to grind my teeth, which leads to jaw pain, which leads to back pain, surprisingly. Um, all of which lead to things like slouching or <laughs> the inability to sleep, which leads to more and more and more. And again, I, I want to reiterate that yes, things like therapy work, meditation works, but these are our band-aids to the larger problem, I think. A lot of my, I didn't mean, I didn't want to end up here today uh, on this topic, but a lot of my situational depression, not, not just the, the stuff that I'm born with, but a lot of the things that contribute to feeling like this are um, poverty related. You know, I was I was raised very poor. I uh, remained poor my whole life. I'm still poor. Um, I found a hundred dollars on the sidewalk once and cried. Like, literally cried. Because I could almost pay rent. A lot of my stress comes from financial situations, money. I owe this, I'll never be able to retire. I'll never, I can't afford the basic things that make me happy. And the a fucking strange attitude that our society especially older folks have uh is that well maybe if you didn't go out to eat or you know go to bars which i don't really do uh or i don't know waste your money on whatever then you'd have more money but it's like n no <laughs> first off if we want to go to a restaurant with our friends and be social We shouldn't have to fucking stay inside just so we can afford to pay rent. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, obviously don't go out and blow $100 every single night if you can't afford it. But Jesus Christ, one night out, one night out, let's call it 100 bucks. 
even though it's probably would be more than that would fuck up my month which is a, a sign of two separate problems uh, one shit is way too expensive now uh, everything rent fucking utilities phone bills restaurants groceries everything it's far too expensive and B uh, wages are absolute dog shit so cutting complete you now need to drive the trailer and leave the location if you have any left any glass of, uh, pick them up before leaving do a wedding all right so um, there's a whole strip of grass right here we're gonna finish that because I can't imagine leaving that there can you imagine hiring landscapers and they just left this fucking strip of grass ridiculous All right, let's go bring her back. So, so I don't know. Sorry, sorry if I'm being a bummer. This this stream. You guys want to play Alan Wake after this? Then I'll be less of a fucking bummer. Oh, I was supposed to reverse onto the trailer. I guess it doesn't matter. Pretty good. It's a nice mode lawn. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm just having a rough day. Having, I'm just having a rough time in general. Like everybody else, I, I, I miss the world as it used to be, and I'm ashamed of the world as it is now. But how can you be depressed with this music, right? I, I think this is a good score. Somebody creeping around outside my house. Fucking Austin, man. This is the vehicle garage. Here you can fix damaged vehicles, view statistics, purchase attachments, part exchange vehicles, or purchase new ones. First though, let's select our current vehicle so you can maintain it. All right. This screen shows all the information you'll need to keep track of your vehicle performance and status. Let's maintain your vehicle and get it ready for the next contract by selecting the maintenance button. Oh, interesting. Uh, the next contract is uh, Kingsbury House. Kingsbury is also a town uh, that I've spent a, a decent amount of time in, in my in my uh, home area. It is important to keep your vehicles well maintained and fixed. Ideally, after each contract, you should visit the garage, refilling fuel tank and fixing any damage. You can see the status of your vehicle on the left of the screen. If your vehicle needs attention, see it to it now before returning to the contract. Repair. Uh, it's gonna cost us six bucks. We'll repair, great. Engine, repair. It's fine. Blades, seven bucks. Sounds good. Petrol tank, fill her up. Glug, 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 glug. Sounds good. All right. Uh, okay, so do we want to mow another lawn? I don't want to talk about depression anymore. Um, it's bumming me out. 
I think I'm I'm gonna just okay. I think I'm just gonna take a quick break and um, I will uh, I'll be right back. We'll leave this cool music on for you though, okay? Let's see. All right, all right, all right. Hey, let's uh, let's say hi to everybody. Hold on. This is my cat. Her name is Ama. And uh, Ama turned one the other day. Good work, Ama. I knew you could turn one. <laughs> okay, so 
Let's um Do we want to mow another lawn or do we want to uh play some Alan Wake for a bit? Let's play some Alan Wake. I can't remember how to quit this fucking I wish I could quit you game. Oh shit. We have a first person? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I don't want cr I, I honestly, how do you quit this fucking game? No idea. I don't think you're allowed to, honestly. So we're just going to cancel it there. I assume everything's saved. Goodbye, game. All right, so let's figure out what we want to play now. We will edit this stream info. We'll cancel it and come right back. How's that grab you? 